Start by plugging the unit into an outlet. Next, install the batteries into the remote. Move the main on-off switch to the on position and set the three position control switch to the remote position. Press and hold the initialization button on the firebox while also pressing any button on the remote. Release the initialization button on the unit and press any button again. Stand the unit up and remove the log set and ember bed. Disconnect the log set LED wire harness from the unit. Remove the flicker rod. Unscrew the old bulbs and replace. Slide the firebox out of the mantle. Unplug the unit and place it on its back. Remove the top bracket, unscrew the bulbs, and replace. Stand the unit up and remove the log set and ember bed. Disconnect the log set LED wire harness from the unit. Remove the screws from the tabs that are holding the glass in place. Slide the glass out and gently pull down. Take out the screws that hold the top cover on, flip it over, and rest the panel on top of the firebox. Remove the screws that hold the switch mount bracket. Flip the baffle and switch mount bracket over and rest it on top of the firebox. Disconnect the wires and depress the retainer clips to remove the switch. Take out the screws that hold the top cover on, flip it over, and rest the panel on top of the firebox. Remove the screws that hold the switch mount bracket. Flip the baffle and switch mount bracket over and rest it on top of the firebox. Disconnect the wires and depress the tabs on the switch to pull it out from the front. Stand the unit up and remove the log set and ember bed. Disconnect the log set LED wire harness from the unit. Remove the reflector rod from the flicker motor by pulling the rubber connector off of the motor. Remove the two screws that secure the flicker motor to the bracket and remove the motor. Cut the connection wires from the old motor and discard. The new motor kit comes with instructions, a replacement motor, and wire connectors. You will need to match the old wires with the new wires and reconnect with the supplied connectors. Take the wires with matched colors and insert them into the connector as far as they can go. Take pliers and depress the yellow circle on the connector until it snaps. Repeat this process for each wire and install the new motor. Once the motor is in place, insert the flicker rod into the bracket on the left side first and reconnect with the motor. Take out the screws that hold the top cover on, flip it over, and rest the panel on top of the firebox. Locate the remote control receiver board mounted on the right side and disconnect all the wire leads.
Squeeze each of the mounting studs to release the board and replace. Take out the screws that hold the top cover on, flip it over, and rest the panel on the top of the firebox. Continue to remove screws until all the brackets have been removed from the heater assembly. Disconnect all the wire leads and remove the heater. Slide the firebox out of the mantle, unplug the unit, and place it on its back. Remove the bottom panel by removing the screws. Use pliers to depress the retainer and pull the cord to remove. Disconnect the power cord wires from the circuit board. Follow the other end of the cord to the main on-off switch at the bottom of the unit and disconnect. <laughs> 